Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We recently asked you, the Walk With Eve YouTube community, which Benidorm Hotel we should review and do a tour of next, and you did not disappoint. If you haven't already, press the thumbs up button and click subscribe. It really does help us out and pushes this video out through YouTube's algorithm to other people interested in staying at this hotel or Benidorm. The property I'm checking into this afternoon is very popular with British and Irish tourists. There's an amazing sky bar to enjoy, those beautiful Benidorm sunsets, and the best part is just a few metres away from Levante Beach in Benidorm's new town. So let's check in. Welcome to Port Benidorm Hotel and Spa. Walking into the reception area and the main hotel lobby, everything feels bright, modern and smells great. Everything you could possibly want from a 4 star superior hotel. Let me know in the comments if you've stayed at this hotel or are planning on visiting in the future. Port Benidorm caters for couples and is a family friendly hotel with entertainment on offer both night and day. We'll check out the rest of the hotel later on in the video. All the bedrooms are nicely decorated and everything is really comfortable, facilities are all pretty good. There's plenty of room for clothes, shoes and accessories. There's plenty of plug sockets around the room, but I haven't seen any USB sockets. As vloggers, we do have a lot of equipment that charges by USB, and it would have made our stay that bit easier. Large screen TV with British channels, as well as a tea and coffee tray, something I missed in the last Benetorm hotel I reviewed. The kettle is clean and looks almost brand new. Good size minibar to keep your drinks chilled. I've seen a lot of complaints online about the glass shower not being frosted. Not ideal if you're sharing with a stranger or you're in a new relationship. This room feels very spacious I have to say, but there is also adapted rooms catered towards guests with reduced mobility. The balconies are large with two chairs, table and perfect for relaxing before going out into Benidorm or having a quiet night on the balcony. Hey guys, we've just launched a Patreon page where we're going to be uploading one extra video per week and lots more extra content. But don't worry all you YouTube lovers, that's not going to take away from the channel. We're still doing the regular weekly videos. This is just for all of you who want some extra content, there will also be lots of behind the scenes photographs and videos and the occasional giveaway. So if you guys want to check out the Patreon page and support this channel then check out the link down below in the description. So let's take a look around this hotel. The wow factor is the sky bar so let's check it out. It's open to the public and is reachable by stairs from the 18th floor. Currently open Friday to Sunday. It's the perfect spot for a romantic evening sipping handcrafted cocktails, watching Benidorm sunsets, winter and summer. We'll check back tonight when the sun has set, then the atmosphere will be even better.
Fort Benidorm Hotel and Spa offers a wide range of board bases from bed and breakfast, full or half board or all inclusive. If you haven't booked your winter sun or summer holiday yet, a number of exciting deals are still available. Explore last minute offers and trips tailored to every budget by clicking the link in the video description or scanning the on-screen QR code. The best part is, when you book your upcoming holiday, hotel or flights through these links, you'll be helping support the channel make more videos like this. This hotel has 18 floors, 4 lifts and over 280 rooms with either views of the city, Rincon Deloitte or the Mediterranean Sea. The lifts are operated by touchscreen keypad, a lift A, B, C or D based on your floor number. The lifts are quite small so it can get quite busy if you're on a low to middle floor in the hotel. As you step inside the hotel restaurant, the spaciousness and floor to ceiling windows immediately capture your attention. Meals here are self-service buffet style. There's a wide range of selection for healthier alternatives. Yogurts, fruit, cereal, as well as cold meats, cheeses, breads and pastries.
If you prefer British breakfast favourites, check out this British buffet for brekkie vibes. The red from the tinned tomatoes adds a pop of colour and the hash browns are crispy golden brown, sausages and bacon sizzling away. Even when the hotel is full, I would imagine you can enjoy your dining experience with a feeling crowded. The large floor to ceiling windows also allow natural light to flood in and for guests to fully see the action and dip into it if they want. The breakfast options are endless, however I kept it simple this morning and chose sausage, hash browns, mushrooms and creamy scrambled eggs. Unfortunately the mushrooms did have an off taste and the pork sausages were pink inside which is not what you'd expect from a four-star superior hotel. Overall, the hotel is really nice, clean and modern and in a prime location near the beach and all Benidorm has to offer. A bugbear for many people online is the glass bathrooms. Yep, whoever you're sharing a room with can see right into the bathroom and watch you on the loo. Most hotels do have frosted glass or a separate toilet, so not for strangers sharing the room. The roof terrace is the highlight of the hotel and offers amazing views across Benidorm and we would highly recommend paying there a visit when you are next in Benidorm. We did notice an iron in the room but I'm sure it could have been requested from reception. We did notice quite early on that the lock on the balcony door was broken, however I was not concerned as no one could really get onto my balcony. The lifts are operated by the state-of-the-art digital pads, which some older guests were struggling with. The lifts are not blessed with space, in fact the shower in my room was bigger than the lifts, so expect huge weights at breakfast and dinner times. Would we recommend this hotel? Yeah. We paid £44 for one night. The hotel does have slight niggles, but it's more 4 star than 4 star superior. Do you agree? Let us know in the comments your experience and if we are being too harsh. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments where you think we should visit next.